Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video for NBA Live 18. So, big news has dropped. They have an archetype system for NBA Live 18 and it's immersive. So, what I'm about to do guys is show you all the archetypes and what archetype I think I'm going to build when I get NBA Live 18. Now, I made the conscious decision to say I'm going to get NBA Live 18 because I will. I'm going to start playing more sports games and NBA Live 18 is a game that we've been waiting for for about two years. So I think that it's time for me to go ahead and try it out. I've been playing NBA Playgrounds and been loving it. I've been playing uh, Injustice and been loving it. I, I just love playing video games. So basically today I'm going to go through everything and, you know, show you what it's all about. So first thing off on the NBA uh, EA Sports website. They have gear that you can customize with hairstyles, tattoos, and sneakers. Uh, signature abilities and skills to make your game better. Trait system. Now you can. It says you can choose from dozens of game-changing traits to help strategize against compo components. Now I guess they probably wanted to say uh, against opponents, but I don't know. Maybe they maybe there was a little typo there. Uh, play styles. Create how you look create how you want to play and deep customizing from skills to styles and it's all about you um also they got the your choices where you can rise in the streets and you can go into the league they also have the quest to be the one where it said you can play solo co-op and multiplayer with nba live 18 and we get to play free in august so i will be testing it out in august with that demo now check this out let's go ahead and explore the play styles um there's one big hiccup that we're going to be talking about in this video but for the rest of the video it's really smooth sailing so check this out as a guard you can lead your squad to victory with jump shots teamwork and smooth swipes now for the guard position it will be five seven two six five i think six five is a good cap um i know that there are six six and six seven point guards out there in this world you know and with ben simmons coming into the league not knowing if he's going to play point you know things can change but as a guard they have the offensive point shooter, the offensive slasher, the defensive backcourt defender, and the balanced playmaker. Now, everybody knows I like that word playmaker. And you see it says pocket passer there. We're going to go over that in a moment. Uh, wing people. Now, breaking ankles, hitting from deep, and shutting down all invaders to keep your opponents guessing. Crazy. The wing is from 6'5 to 6'11. That means that this will be for the shooting guard and small forward position and most likely uh, up to power forward. All right, so remember the guard is going to be from point guard to shooting guard, but the wing can go from shooting guard all the way to power forward probably. Now, the big. This is where we run into a problem, guys. Oh, but let me tell you guys about this for a second. Uh, I, I know y'all about, I know what y'all just seen a moment ago, but let's talk about this, man. Offensively, you have the wing shooter, such as Clay Thompson. You have an offensive wing scorer, such as the Rosen, somebody that can create their own shot, stuff like that. You have the wing defender, like a Kawhi Leonard, but this Jones says two way impact, whereas though he's good on offense and defense. And you have the balanced hybrid wing, such as. The Greek Freak. Now, I'm trying to figure out where LeBron will fit in this. I'm guessing LeBron will fit in the hybrid wing. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, let's talk about the big for a moment. 6'8 to 7'11. I think 7'11 is a little a little too out, like, crazy. Um, How about EA? How about we do this? How about we go with the tallest player to ever be in the NBA? How about we go with that height? Is 7 Eleven the tallest a player has been in the NBA? Please let me know. Please, because if there has been a 7 Eleven player in the NBA, how is that person not the greatest of all time? But if it hasn't, please, EA, let's stray away from the 7 Eleven. I just feel like everybody's going to be out here 7 Eleven stretch four. <laughs> like, I do not want a 7 Eleven stretch four out here in, the, in, this, in these streets, bro. Like, or a 7 Eleven room protector. Like, how are we ever going to get any shots up? Like, come on, man. But you have defensive rim protector, offensive stretch four, post anchor, and post scorer. Now, I'm not going to go into every single trait system and attribute style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into what I think I want to create this year for NBA Live 18. Now, see how it says break it down? I'm guessing this is like a, a posterizer type of, type of feel to the player. Now, I'm going to go in to the slasher real quick. Now, this guy has primary skills, layup, inside shot, dribbling, and mid-range shot. You guys can see that he's not really good from the three. Secondary, 
is passing, shoot off dribble, and on ball defense. Everybody loves on ball defense and shooting off the dribble. Now traits, you get to be able to draw fouls more. You can make more contested shots, and you have those handles. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to what I think I might create this year. I know, man, I'm, I'm not really that guy that likes to shoot too much, but, hey, man, these skills right here look pretty good. Your primary skills is three-point shot and mid-range shot, passing and dribbling. You don't have to be a playmaker to pass. You don't have to be a playmaker to be able to have dribbles. And your secondary skills is steals. I love playing the passing lanes and contested shots. You know how I feel about shoot, shooting contested shots. When draining a shot in somebody's face, it feels great. Now check out the secondary skill, inside shot. Let's go ahead and go back. Primary skills, three point shot, I mean range shot. You mean to tell me as a point shooter, you get to have an inside shot skill along with a three point shot and mid range shot? Amazing. And let's look at the traits. Quick passes, good free throws, and sure handles. That means to tell me you are an all around shooter, whether it's in the paint or outside from three. You get to be able to hit your free throws, got nice passing, and you have dribbles. You can dribble, shoot, and pass and be able to score inside the paint. It didn't say anything about layups. It, didn't, it doesn't have a sure, fate, sure way to, to make layups, but let's go to another, another uh, archetype. Let's check this out real quick, man. Backcourt defender, right? You have great on-ball defense, great stealing, great dribbling and passing. Your secondary skills is good layups, good three-point shot, and good inside shot. So as a, as a three and D person, you can make threes and score in the paint. Bruh. And check out these treats, man. Check out these treats. Bruh, no fouls. That I mean that this must be like a swipe galore thing. You be able to hit corner threes effortlessly. And you get the rebound as a point card. You get the rebound, bruh. Now let's check out the playmaker guard, man. And I'm only gonna go through the guard system. I'm not gonna go through everything else. But primary skills is dribbling, passing, laying up, and stealing. That's your primary skills as a playmaker. You can dribble, you can pass, you can lay up. That means you can get to the rack on your own, and you can still in the passing lanes to get nice fast break starts. On ball defense as a playmaker, mid range shot as a playmaker, and inside shot. So that means your three pointers ain't gonna be that high. But let's look at the traits. You got great handling, great contested shots from the mid range, and layups, and you have quick pass. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad. But if you guys want to check out all of these positions, here's the link right here. I'll post this inside the chat, inside the comment section, and the description. Hey, guys, what are you going to create for NBA Live 18? I know I ain't going to create no 7-Eleven. I, I might. I might cheese. <laughs> Hey man, this is your boy IKC signing out. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.